it's Kaiser Casper is homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure I see the connection. Um, and then people, of course, make fun of the style in which subtitles are, uh, are done. Uh, yeah, the uh, subtitles are done in that very old, distinct uh, VHS era of subtitles, which is which goes very well in hand with the era with which these came out. Um, and then, of course, there's all sorts of crossovers of every variety. Actually, so they well, on on on, uh, on A, they uh, divided up an image for different people to illustrate and. This is what happened, as, as you can see. But yeah, so this is some JoJo thrown in here. JoJo, uh, Toho. Uh, you know, I'm sure there's some Kaiji LGH crossover somewhere. Um, so, let's see, we're all open up to questions at this point. Hopefully, you think this was as great as this guy thinks it was. Um, but yeah, what questions, discussions. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Okay, so you guys keep talking about like how humans aren't worth all that much, but then how come Lohengram has like a huge freak out with, um, oh, oh, oh sh like when he, when they, yeah, when they knew two million people on that guy's territory. I think um, rather than just, you know, uh, saying that like, so I know we, we harped a lot about like the inflation of human life, but one of the things that I really appreciate in the series is that it shows every dimension of that. So some characters will react differently than others. There's one very interesting scene during the Battle of Vermilion. I don't know if you, if you got to that point and told me what episode you're at, but there's it like goes to when the ship is exploding, a ship gets hit and it starts to explode, and it shows the individual crew workers like their guts are spilling out of them. And it's in total contrast to like a million people just died. It shows like the individual saying, oh, so like, that's one of these things that where the series explores every dimension, every angle of what's going on at a single point. It's really yeah. incredible. You haven't thought about the, the, the Rosen the Rosen River. The Rosen River. The, 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 the Knights come into the world. Yeah, good. Uh, uh, Walter Schenkoff, <laughs> uh, beautiful head. This is the most name translates to English. But, uh, yeah, uh, the Rose and Ritter are a fun bunch of people of Germanic descent, of Galactic Empire descent, who fled to the Free Planets Alliance, and they go out and kick butt on hand-to-hand -hand combat. There are a couple of sequences battle axe. in yeah, bat the, with their battle axes. There are more than a couple of sequences in LOGH where one ship will have to ram into another ship and they'll like infiltrate it, or they'll be infiltrating on like on a planet in a building. And they have armor that resists uh, the laser bullets that guns fire, and they just hack each other up with battle axes. That's the Rosen River. So I guess, you know, even if you're Free Planets Alliance, it's still the Prussians that are still the cooler guys, I guess. And one of the facts uh, that, that's some bad for the is how amazing that the, the say you cast is uh, that, that anime. Mm, yeah, yeah, because uh, like uh, you have um, Oscar von Royenthal is uh, Norio Wakamoto. <laughs> so you know, there's a lot of um, I, I've seen some uh, mad uh, and, uh, from Nico, uh, Nico, Nico, uh, where uh, they took so the voice for for Wolfgang Mittermeier in uh, the Empire is uh, the voice of Ghana Zabi from Ghana, and there's Ulrich Kessler is the head of police, and he's Shar. Yeah, it's a show's voice, so they, they made some jokes about that. Um, I think you raise your hand first. Yeah, uh, I've seen that there are some Starfighter in, uh, in this series. Uh, uh, yeah, there's a whole lot of, there's a, a number of different ways of uh, that engagements happen. And one is the Starfighters, and uh, as well as the um, uh, melee combat as well, uh, through targets, <coughs> ship invasions. And do, do the, the use it as the full potential, or they, they, they're only, uh, because we, we see many big ships, but do, can the Starfire IR be used to destroy the big ship, or only in uh, some purpose of Starfire, or? It was actually, it was uh, featured very briefly in one of the videos. Yeah. Uh, the, the smaller fighter ships will actually be able to 
uh, not only engage in other, uh, other fighters, but the uh, fighters will directly engage the larger battleships and be able to destroy them. Poplin is also one of the more colorful characters, so he's definitely worth uh, keeping on screen in just terms of uh, entertainment. So he actually does get a decent amount of screen time. Yeah. He's always uh, competing with uh, Shenkov for uh, the women's right. Uh, but yeah, so it's um. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I didn't hear any mention of the Terrans, who are a pretty big part of the plot, and not much given to Fizan, which is also a very major part of yeah, the plot. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, we're, we perhaps should have booked an hour and a half rather than 45 minutes for LOGH. Um, we only have a couple of minutes left, but those are the absolutely fundamental parts of the plot. I mean, so I, I mentioned a bit the importance of what going through Fizan would have. It would be like going through Belgium in World War I. Um, Fazan is kind of like, it's ruled by a bunch of, it's, it's a merchant planet ruled by a bunch of like Russian Jews, like the guy's name is Adrian Lubinsky. Um, and uh, the Terrans, like it's, it's a religion that's based out of worship for Earth. And they do a lot of weird like Illuminati-esque things. And I'm not going to say much more beyond that. Um, I think my personal opinion was that they were the weakest part of the series because whereas the FPA and the uh, Empire were both so evenly likable and hateable depending on who is there, it's like you just hate the Terrans no matter what. Like they're just <laughs> bad. They're they're the evil guys. So they were there to be hated. Yes. Um, so I think that that kind of um, took the plot down from like 100 to 99 for me as far as because it would be nice to have an organization that is not totally evil but has like some. Sort of get what I'm saying. Um, any other comments in regards to that, or does that answer your question? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did they ever make any games based off this? There are some games. There's a strategy game. It's only in Japan. Um, you know, it kind of plays like uh, Sins of a Solar Empire, and there is also a uh, Sins of a Solar Empire mod with LGA ships. <laughs> I think they also made like a super robot war style game for yes. LGA ships. So. <laughs> so I think, uh, oh yeah. Can we watch the part where the guy like has the axes and they're like trying to get in and he just like. Oh. That's <laughs> we don't have to. Well, I don't, I don't think we have that in here, <laughs> but we would like to play for you one last thing. You know how sometimes at the end of Gundam panels they chant Sieg's Neon? Well, <laughs> we have, we have Oh Hail Liberty Bell. <laughs> so we have the, the lyrics here. Feel free to, to sing along and take off your hats. and. Uh, yeah. <laughs>
freedom. Check, check oh. le, le, ah, oh. oh, il vient pour le Tales of Time. Oh, uh, oh. Oui. Oh. Non, It's not this that you need for the sound, it's this one here. Okay, so, okay. Uh, I have some skits in there. Oh, wait, you can okay, how do you want me to... Uh, uh, put in the... Uh, uh, okay. Put in the hibernation. Okay. 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 Uh, I just press the off button. Okay, that's that one. That's what we'll do. Okay. There's one at the center. I can't handle all this freedom. There's too much freedom. Good job, Miles. Thanks. Why are you wearing that shirt? I don't have a shirt. I want you to wear something else. Look at my book. What? The only the only film that you've ever been brought to the show. Where's my? Oh, the kids. Kids. You've 